The movie begins in Mathis Vineyard. Conjoined wins Bob and Walt Tinner try to live as normally as possible. Outgoing and friendly, Walt aspires to be a Hollywood actor, whereas Bob is shy and introverted. One morning, the brothers are doing their morning routine and have to do everything together. While out for a jog, they meet Suzy, who Walt had drinks with the other day when Bob was sleeping. He tells Bob that he couldn't make a move on her because she had her friend with her, who was shadowing them the whole time. They run into a pole as Walt is distracted by looking at another girl. Later, they work together as chefs to rapidly and efficiently prepare the burgers at Quickie Burger. Walt notices that Bob printed a picture of his internet friend Mei Fong. He jokes that she could be a circus freak for all he knows. Then, a patron complains to the waiter about their poor service claiming they should keep freaks out of the customer's sight. Bob and Waltz sarcastically sympathize with this and advise the rude patron to leave because they don't want freaks in their establishment. Later that day, they skillfully play ice hockey as they both block the net. People praise them as they use their conjoined bodies to their advantage. Afterward, at the bar, their friends congratulate them. Then, a hot woman walks in and Walt ogles her, distracting Bob at his game of dots. Walt suggests that Bob invites May up there for the spring. Bob makes excuses, and Walt calls him a chicken. Thus, Walt decides to push Bob towards the new woman, and Bob begrudgingly introduces himself. When Bob fails at it, Walt replaces him and introduces himself to Kate. They are soon having fun while Bob is on the other side of a curtain. The next day, Bob is piling wood while Walt is getting ready for his one-person performance. Bob asks if he is nervous, but Walt is unfazed. When Walt observes Bob blinking tensely and believes he's about to get a panic attack, Walt hands him a bag to breathe in. As Bob is breathing rapidly, Walt tells him to relax because he is the one performing, not his brother. While Walt is performing, Bob is sweating profusely, hiding his face. Afterward, Walt receives applause and reveals that he wants to do a musical version of Bonnie and Clyde next year. The next day, they reminisce about how they have used their condition to their advantage over the years. They talk about how they swore never to hold each other back when they were young. After the positive reception of his performance the previous evening, Walt claims he wants to become a proper actor and move to Hollywood. Bob reminds Walt that the last night's audience was made up entirely of their friends, which makes Walt angry. To convince him to leave, Walt reminds him that May lives in Hollywood. When Bob finally agrees, their friends wave them off as they drive to the airport. When they get there, the boys walk down Hollywood Boulevard. They are called freaks by a passerby as they make their way to their residence. They wake Mo, the receptionist, who is scared that his wife may have caught him sleeping rather than finishing his screenplay. He then leads them inside their room. The brothers head outside to begin a barbecue and get a California tan. They meet their neighbor April, who coincidentally is also an actor. Despite not having an agent, she reads the newspaper daily, containing all the open casting calls. Then, Walt discovers an open casting call that fits him. He goes for an audition as Robin Hood but is laughed out of the door. He continues to audition with no success because of their conjoined bodies. At their place, Walt voices his worries about whether they made the right decision to move to Hollywood, but Bob reassures him that everything is going well, as he has a plan. As part one of the plan, they decide to get a nice car to ride around in, and part two is to find Walt, an agent. Thus, they drive to a retirement community to meet with Morty O'Reilly, an agent he used to represent April. He tells them that he only works with performers who are dedicated to their work and pays the $200 upfront fee. Bob manages to negotiate the upfront fee as he only represents one of them. Then, Morty tells them that he will take 25% of Walt's earnings, to which they begrudgingly agree. As they drive off, Walt thinks he spots Meryl Streep, thus, they stop to see. She is having lunch, and Walt wants to go and say hello. They introduce themselves, and there is an awkward encounter between them. Then all of a sudden, Meryl remembers them from when they played in a homecoming football game in 1987, complimenting them on how they were so good at it. Later, they go to the beach with April, and Walt relays an exaggerated story about how they talked with Meryl Streep for three hours. April asks if they ever considered getting separated, but Walt explains that they share a liver thus, it's not that simple. Bob would be fine, but Walt would have a 50 50th chance of survival, and Bob wouldn't allow it. They both share their admiration for the sleeping Bob. 
April tries to lighten the mood by pointing out that her friend had his appendix removed. Walt simply nods and replies that he is also going to sleep, ignoring the comment. Back home, Walt receives a call from Morty with a jarb offer for a movie called Pavlov's Dog. He is ecstatic and then tells Bob that in five minutes he will have a date with the girl of his dreams. It turns out Walt invited May over to their place. Bob hides under the bed as he is having a panic attack out of worry that she will be disturbed by their condition. Meanwhile, May shows up at the front desk. Although Mo is asleep, he paints his eyelids to make him appear awake. He then directs her to Bob's apartment. When Bob admits to Walt that he didn't tell her about their condition, Walt is furious at the fact that Bob appears ashamed of him. Suddenly, May knocks on the door, and the brothers crawl out the back. As she is about to leave, they meet her outside in the car. Thus, Bob invites her to join them and introduces her to Walt. Upon getting to know each other, May finds Bob's jokes hilarious while still managing to keep his situation a secret. During the date, Walt tries to assist Bob, who struggles to talk to May. But she gets a panic attack before Bob can tell her the truth about their condition. She is convinced that Bob doesn't like her, but he reassures her that he does and says he, too, has panic attacks. Jokingly telling her that he nearly had one, but she beat him to it, and this calms her down. At a drive-in movie, Walt sleeps while Bob apologizes for his brother tagging along. May requests Bob to accompany her to the door after they drop her off at her house. Walt follows them. Then Bob and May exchange looks and share a kiss. The following day, the brothers go to the studio for the movie. Cher, a well-known actress and singer, is complaining to her agent. She demands to know why she is acting in a terrible TV show when she should be in movies because she's desirable. The brothers enter while she rants, looking lost. When Walt sees Cher and requests her signature, she declines and says they are occupied. Then, Walt finally finds the right soundstage, but as he gets ready, he realizes that his part is in an adult film. Thus, the brothers leave as the scene is shot. Moments later, Cher storms out, frustrated that she cannot break her commitment. Then, she notices the boys in the distance and suddenly thinks of an idea to cast Walt because her contract says she has the right to choose her co-stars. She is aware that the network won't consent to this and will break her contract in her place. The brothers are stunned as she approaches them and apologizes for her earlier behavior. Later, the brothers go to a club with April to meet May. Walt pretends to have an ankle injury to persuade May that he needs assistance moving from Bob. Then, Bob reveals Walt's casting news, and they toast the achievement. Shortly after, May is abruptly approached by a man who introduces himself as her boyfriend, but she tells him he is just a co-worker. The man wants to fight Bob, but every time Bob stands, so does Walt. The man accuses them of not fighting fair and walks away. As they dance together, the girls decide to go to the bathroom. The man from earlier comes back to challenge Bob once more. When he notices their condition, they call them freaks. Hearing this, the brothers decide to fight them and do a great job teaming together. The crowd applauds them for knocking out the bullies. When the girls return, they leave together immediately. When the network executives catch on to Cher's plan and call her bluff, Morty negotiates an awful deal for the brothers. During filming, Bob is constantly scolded for getting in the shot. Bob comments about the bad writing of the script thus, Cher offers to hire Bob to rework the script. Bob gets hired as a lead writer despite having no prior writing expertise. Sometime later, Bob becomes ill and May takes care of him while Walt conceals himself inside a huge teddy bear. After she leaves, Walt tells him it's time to tell her about their condition. Bob agrees that it is well past time and plans to tell her soon. Walt also thanks him for suggesting Mo as a show writer. Back at Quickie Burger, their friends are waiting to watch the show. They voice their concern about how they will hide Bob, as he is a terrible actor. As they watch the first episode, they praise both brothers for how well they are doing, seeing that Walt's acting is great while Bob hides well from the camera. In the studio, the technical team uses modern techniques to hide Bob. Cher is disgusted that they are hiding Walt's God-given Siamese Ness. Fortunately, they receive positive reviews as Mo tells them the show is a hit. Cher is annoyed at this and finds that the fans are cheering for Walt, not her. When May goes to see Bob, she finds him and Walt sleeping together. She mistakes them for lovers and runs away. The brothers chase after her and reveal the truth. However, she drives away regardless of their explanation. As Walt consoles Bob, 
Morty tells them that someone has leaked that they are conjoined. The sponsors abandon the show, and production is stopped. Morty suggests they deny it, but April tells them to embrace the truth. They broadcast their story on television, and soon after, the brothers become celebrities, and the show receives high ratings. At a party, Walt encourages Bob to talk to a woman, but Bob yells at him to stop, annoyed at his insistence, and makes them leave. While Walt is sleeping, Bob looks at a framed picture of May, still pining over her. The following day, Walt surprisingly tells Bob that he thinks they should have the operation of separating them. Bob is shocked at his decision and refuses to do it. Because of this, Walt rebels by smoking and getting drunk. However, Bob suffers the effects of Walt's negligence as he has most of their liver. As Bob drives them home, the police arrest them for Walt's drunken and disorderly behavior. However, Walt gets off free while Bob is detained for driving under the influence as his alcohol content is tested high on the breath analyzer. As they leave the precinct, Bob demands an apology from Walt, but it escalates into a brawl. Eventually, he agrees to do the operation. The boys enjoy their final night as conjoined wins by having a party with April and Mo the night before the operation. When May turns up and apologizes for the way she reacted, Bob tells her that they plan to undergo the operation. However, she tells him it doesn't matter because she loves him exactly how he is. Still, he insists that he is also doing this for Walt. The following day, May picks them up and brings them to the hospital. Morty suddenly shows up out of the blue and warns them that although their show is currently at the top of the ratings, getting the surgery would end their careers. After that, April and May wait outside as the brothers prepare for surgery. Moments later, the doctor informs the girls that the procedure was successful. When the brothers are discharged from the hospital, they try settling into their new surroundings. While Bob is living with May, Walt continues to film his TV show. Soon after, Bob decides to return home to Martha's Vineyard and brings May along. Both brothers find it difficult to adjust to life without the other as they have spent most of their lives together. After their separation, Walt's show is cancelled, and Bob struggles to keep up at Quickie Burger since they terribly miss each other. When Sharon unexpectedly sees that Walt is miserable, she invites him for drinks. He then tells her that he doesn't know what to do next with his life, and she advises him to consider what he enjoys doing the most in the world. Thus, he returns home to his brother, Bob. One year later, the brothers are back working together at Quickie Burger and have rekindled their old magic after their shift. They leave as Walt stars in Bonnie and Clyde, the musical with Meryl Streep as a co-star in the show. Cher is also seen in the audience. The movie ends with the program coming to a close, with the brothers happily supporting each other. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video please hit the like button and also subscribe my channel for more videos like this. See you in the next video.